I'm Jordan Zevon, and I'm the national spokesperson for ADAO, the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization. I've been with ADAO for 10 years, following the death of my father in 2003 of mesothelioma. We have no idea where his exposure came from to this day. And this is the misconception that we get from many people, is that they think that you have to walk, work around asbestos or that you have to be surrounded. I got a Facebook question the other day that said, uh, how did your father get exposed to so much asbestos? And the thing is that it only takes one fiber. And if you look on our website, you'll see a graphic that will show you 20,000 fibers of asbestos will fit maybe on the very tip of Lincoln's nose on the head of a penny. And even then you still can't see them. And it just takes one fiber. And you don't have to work around asbestos because unfortunately we still have not banned asbestos. And for the third time, we've done a study. As you can see, I'm holding this dangerous contaminants envelope that contains children's crayons. These are Power Ranger crayons. I know that my daughter was a big fan for a while, my six-year-old daughter. And I know that she's also been given these little packs of crayons when we go to a restaurant. These contain asbestos. They contain asbestos that came in from China because we do not have a ban on asbestos, even though 50 other countries do. The U.S. and Canada are one of the few remaining westernized countries that don't have a ban on asbestos. Please take the time. If you want to research for yourself and educate yourself about asbestos, if you want to sign up for our newsletter, if you want to donate, anything you can do to help, we appreciate. Because we're trying as best we can to protect you and your families from this danger. And that's all we do. We don't do court case litigations, anything like that. Not the late night commercials you see on TV. Our only goal is awareness and a ban on asbestos.